Welcome. Welcome, 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 Tauruses, uh, Virgos. And my excuse is this is the Pisces season. The Pisces, the Pisces season go from um, the February 19 until March 20th. So this is the Pisces season. Um, I want to say to each and every person, thank you. Um, please remember every month you'll be getting your individual season reading. A lot of people have been asking me to do the individual season reading. Remember, you will have to choose a crystal after you listen to this reading. So in order to get the crystal, get to the link and that will take you to which one of the crystals you are looking for. Okay. Um, remember that in the season readings, it, it's all about you creating your um uh, financial stability and your financial abundancy so with the season reading you have to recognize so how you are going to be creating what is affecting you where is this person and um there you can go for the business and check out the business channel then channel channel <laughs> the business channel for help to come in so um virgos when we look at this we see you're dealing with a um an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. And I see you're also dealing with um, this young person is between the age of 18 and 45. This man is 45 years and older. I see they're recognizing something about this man. We see a hand is coming up for this man, the Eight of Cups. And I see your wishes and dream is going to be granted. So Virgos, um, a lot of you Virgos could be having some sort of an issue um, with your wife, your girlfriend. You could be separating. Um, there could have been a lawsuit that has been drawn out for a time. A lot of you could be divorcing. However, this is coming up and transpiring. I recognize that you Virgos have been going through some sort of a situation where people are now recognizing that you Virgos... Uh, um, was having some sort of an issue with either your father-in-law or your father or that sort of a thing. But at the end of the day, Virgos, you are going to be coming out on top because some sort of an end is here because they recognize uh, that an, an, an Aquarian Gemini or Libra person and uh, um, a Aquarian Gemini and Libra man had worked together to create some sort of a problem issues for a lot of you and they're recognizing this and I see um, some sort of uh, emotional situation that is coming up for these people because um, it is your reading. So Virgos, you have to choose one of the crystal in order to recognize uh, um, you know, what to create, how to create your abundance and prosperity um, for this um, um, Pisces season. Um, between the, the February 18th and February um, March 20th, you have to recognize, because I see they're going to be recognized that there was some sort of a foul play. And when we say foul play, we uh, talk about people who are not um, very honest, okay? And and um, whoever these people are that is not very honest, I see people are going to be recognized that these two people had both collaborated in order to create some sort of issues. So in the first week, the first week is, uh, write these down, the first week is the 19 until the 28. What is coming up in the first, first week, 19 until 28? We are dealing with an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Who is this person? Um, and, uh, um, is this your daughter? Is this someone at the workplace? So, um, you know, try to recognize and find out who is this person because it is an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. Okay. And this is an earth of hair, hurt of hair. So, um, uh, the energy of earth of hair, this person could have, uh, this is a Capricorn person. Earth of hair is a Capricorn person. Okay. Very witty. Very witty, very witty person. Um, and when I say witty, sharp mouth, earth of hair is a very witty person because they are Capricorn, air, um, Aquarian, a quick person. Okay. Very witty. Um, practical thinking, very witty. Okay. Advancing and, in, and, and, and is very intelligent, but a strong with, uh, devotional. Okay. 
triumph through um, cor um, courage and love instead of uh, confrontation. Okay, so um, you overcome this person and here, earth with here, um, this person, earth with here, have done something to you, Virgos. Okay, so it can be a Capricorn person with Aquarian sign. Okay, I have done something to you, Virgos. And they are now recognizing. So in the first week, this person could have placed a block on you, could have right something bad, could have tried to ruin your reputation, whoever this person is and whatever is happening. It is now coming up and they're recognizing how um, they, this, this situation have gotten too far out of hand and they're recognizing that this person, whoever this person is, because it, it is hurt up here. But it can be an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra person. It can be a lawyer who have gone too far. And they're recognizing how far this person have gone. And it can be someone at the work floor, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra. Um, work together with an older man in order to create some sort of a blockage and some sort of an issue for you. And they're going to be investigating and recognize the Oracle play of these two air sign people, an Aquarian, Gemini, or Libra, young lady between the age of 18 and 45, you are going to be dealing with her in the first week and they're going to be recognizing what an horrible person. So this person is going to be coming up the last week of February 19 to um, 28. So last week of February, this person is going to be coming up and you're going to be recognizing this person, who this person is and what they have done to this, what this person have done and tried to create, okay? And they're going to be recognizing this. Then when we move forward and we look at the second week, the second week you're dealing with a very unfair person. Whoever this person is, is very unfair. This person is an Aries, the or a Sagittarius. It could be uh, someone who used their authority in a wrong way. And um, you get to choose one of the stone to recognize who is this person. Is this person your father? Is this person your husband? Is this person a family member? Is this person someone at the workplace? Is this someone who is in um, some sort of a uh, um, 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 a situation where um, civil service position that they're now recognizing that this person have used their their um, their powers in the wrong way. And, and, and that was what, that was kind of blocking you. Okay. Um, because this person have really, a, you know, think, okay. So, um, you know, air sign people are analytic, but it doesn't have to be an Aquarian, Gemini or Libra. This person could also be a doctor or an eye professional person. Now you can think who this eye professional person is, but whoever this person is has really used their powers in the wrong way. And I see that there it is not going to be bearing out good for them because someone is now recognizing that um, this person has overgone, overbound um, some sort of a play. Okay, so they recognize that this person have overgone and overbound some sort of a place. So it could be a situation with a civil, ser civil servant or so where money should be. It could be tax people because this is um like uh, um the first week of March. So this is the week of the 1st of March until the 7th of March. And, you know, here we are recognizing what is happening and what is transpiring. And what we're seeing here happening is that uh, this person is in the reverse because they're using um their powers or they they're communicating something that is not positive okay they are reckless okay this, this person is reckless this person is not coming from a good place um whatever their situation is they're really and and you know and this person have disrespect other people whoever this person is and i've created a, a whole lot of obstacles for a lot of people and disrespect uh, a whole lot of people. So recognize what is happening and what is transpiring because you're now recognizing that whoever this person is, is it your husband, your man, or it could be someone who have really aggressively used their powers against you. That is going to be coming up in um, the second week, the week of uh, um, the first until the seventh. So be aware of this and what this person is doing. 
Then we look at the third week. The third week is from the 8th until the 14th. Please write down um, the week so you know the 8th the eight until the 14th because this is a season reading. It is specifically programmed for a season. So the week of uh, um, the 8th until the 14th, what we recognize is happening is that the energy of the Eight of Cups is there. And the energy of the Eight of Cups is... um. Uh, a stagnation okay ill health so some of you could be um recognizing that because of your ill health you're losing money because you cannot work and um um you know ha have that financial stability that you were having um but because of ill health so remember the energy is something that some of you might be feeling stagnated because of someone tried to do something to create that or some of you might be having some sort of a ill health so be aware in this uh, um uh, Pisces season because this is the week of the 8th until the 14th that that could happen okay so whoever this person is and whatever is happening I see an urgent message um is going to be coming into a lot of you, okay? And, uh, um, uh, uh, yeah, some sort of information is going to be coming in, but it is going to be urgent message coming in, okay? And some of you might have to pack your bag to move because of some sort of an issue, problem. Someone could be sick, a family member could be sick, um, and, and, and that sort of a thing. So you're, you know, whatever the urgent message is, uh, you know, you could be having that. There is no hope of, of rekindling a situation. Whatever have happened and transpired, I see no hope of, uh, you know, rekindling whatever the situation and problem was to, that was transpiring. And I see some sort of a uh, uh, heal out with someone who is already sick. I see it is not getting any better and it's not getting any worse. Okay, so recognize that. Some of you could be receiving some sort of a message that is going to bring some sort of a clarity to a situation. Okay. Nothing is, um, nothing is made in stone. So recognize that. Okay. Um, remains with your eye open. All right. This week is a week that you need to open up your eyes to everything that is happening around you and let your feet um lead your way forward let your feet not your mind not your head let your feet lead your way forward all right so it is a week of stagnation all right and the energy of st the, the, the eight of cup um this energy is about stagnation so you know things is stagnant in uh, the third week whatever is happening and transpires so this is why you have four crystal to choose which um manifestation you are going to be doing for your abundance money and prosperity because this season is going to be guiding you um in that direction and this is going to be good all right so this is going to be powerful so i want to say um you know it is a beautiful beautiful sense of what is happening and transpiring and it's just going to be extremely wonderful now Congratulations, Virgos. Congratulations, congratulations, Virgos. Um, I have not seen this card in a very long time. You have the energy of the Ten of Cups. So, um, Virgos, what this is saying is that, uh, um, um, you're going to be radiating positive energy in the week of uh, 15 to 20, the week of 15 to 20. Um, it doesn't really matter where you are, what you're doing. You're going to be radiating positive energy. So you're going to be recognizing what has been happening and transpiring. You're going to be aware of the situation that has been happening and transpiring. You're going to be understanding the situation that was happening and transpiring. And this is going to be good because I see you're going to be radiating powerful energies. And as you know, as people radiate powerful energy, happy laughing, that is when you manifest uh, your abundance and prosperity and that is when you start making money and money start coming through if you notice sad people and people who are always drawn down they don't make it because they are sad so they're not giving the unicorns the angels and guides and the fairy to bring in the spowers um and this is what you're going to be recognized so the week of the 15th to the 20th of March is going to be really happy. It's going to be a really, really happy season. It's going to be good. 
when the energy of the Ten of Cups uh, comes up, it's about overflow with um, positivity, okay? A lot of you are going to be overflowing with positivity. That helps you to manifest uh, um, luck in your world, okay? Your goals are going to be realized and the excitement of uh, surrounding that is surrounding you is going to be magically to other people, okay? So recognize this. You may also feel as, as though light of colors of radiance is flashing through your mind. So open up your mind to this because it's going to be good. Outwards from you, almost everyone could be shining around you. So that means you're going to be radiating such a powerful energy. So um, the week of the 15th to the 20th is going to be your weeks, um, Virgos. And why this week is going to be so powerful for you, Virgos, is that you uh, collaborate with the Pisces. Uh, and you use the energy of the Pisces, uh, um, 8, 9, and 10. And it is the season of the Pisces. So you Virgos, and this is why I say to a lot of you Virgos, Virgos and Pisces can be good mates and they can also um, be your soulmate Virgos because you work on the frequency of 8, 9, and 10. And this frequency and this connection, and this is why I'm doing these season readings so I can give people more information um, because you work on the same energy frequency number of 8, 9, and 10, it is more easier for you to communicate and have good relationship, um, with a, um, with a, um, a, a, a Pisces, okay? And the spicy season, if you notice they're giving you luck, they are giving you ending the spicy season. They're ending the Pisces season from the 15th until the 20th with the Ten of Cups, and this is going to be absolutely, absolutely fabulous, okay? Absolutely fabulous. So this is a, just a more powerful, powerful alignment of energies. I um, need to let someone out there know something about this man. Um, it is a very unfair man, whoever this man is, and I see the Buddha is standing over this man because of, 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 of some sort of an unfair situation that this man had created. And whenever um, we, we need to understand, so uh, who is this man? Because it can comes up in, um, this man can be a family member also, or it can be a boss or someone that needs to um, choose for something. Okay, so um, this... Um, King of Swords is a fire of water, okay? Fire of water. So if you notice, he's in the reverse side. Whatever fire, fire of water. And whenever he's in the reverse side, you have to be recognizing. Fire of water, uh, you got to recognize who this person is, okay? Because fire of water is, especially when they're in the reverse, is not a good person uh, or not a good situation, okay? So it could be some sort of a, um, issue, situation between you and a um, Virgo person. And I see some sort of a problem is there for a Virgo person and you, no, so for a Gemini person and you are going to be the winner and you're going to be coming out of this very, very powerful. So that is wonderful. So Virgos, a wonderful alignment of energies. I really do love you guys. Show your love by thumbs up. Remember to um, listen to this, write down the name of the weeks because this is not a month reading. It is a season reading. Write down the name of the week so you are aware of what is going to be taking place in that week. And go listen to the weekly reading because it's going to exhilarate you and give you new ideas of how to resolve. In order to see um, and choose your crystal, you got to choose your crystal in order to work with this season. Come back and listen to this and you will recognize what is going on. I do love you. Namaste.